Hello again. I am in the vegetable garden. I am working on propagations for the fall. What I do is I take my raised garden beds and I turn them into nursery beds over the winter. So I do propagations and I tuck things in there, bury them uh, to overwinter them and help break this, the cycle on the soil. Um, and it just it, it works really good. It also allows me to put some bunny fencing around, even though I'm in a in a sheltered area which has two rows of uh, fencing. The bunnies can send somehow seem to find a way in, especially if we get really high and drifting snow, then they can jump right over even a, a big fence because it gets, the snow will drift against it. So today what I'm going to do is propagate some uh, burning bush. And I did this last year and I did direct sowing into the bed and it worked great. So these are some cuttings that I took off the mother plant a couple of weeks ago. And I've had them soaking in, in water just to keep them uh, hydrated until I could get to this point. You don't want them to dry out because it'll kill them. Um, but it worked good last year. My husband loves this. It's just a beautiful color. So um, red is his thing. Purple is mine. But either way, it's very beautiful for fall. And I am going to uh, uh, do it in containers this year, little containers. I've got these four inch trays or four inch containers. I reuse these over and over and over again. So until the sun breaks them down or they shatter and then I have to throw them away, they get a lot of use. So very much believe in recycling, obviously. See my scoop. Um, and then this is my water jar over here too, which was an old sour cream container. So recycling is pretty important. Um, and repurposing, reusing things. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna, I got six cuttings I think, so I think what I'll do is I'll fill these containers first. I'll get some of this excess root material out of there. This is not special. This is, uh, again, this is just my garden soil. This is left over from where I was growing tomatoes. So this was uh, mainly composted manure. You'll see little perlite over the year I might over the years I may dump out some of my other containers in here and then work it into the soil so nothing really goes to waste. I might be worried about disease, I'm not worried about disease at this point. Look and I'm gonna finish filling these up. I think I got six. I'll just do six prepared dishes here containers and this is nice nice and light majority of this is composted cow manure and then there's leftover uh, probably some uh, perlite from which would have been potting soil years ago from whatever container I had dumped in here and then um, maybe originally when I did the beds there's probably some peat moss in here too but for the most part, this is just recycled. I haven't put any new peat moss in here in years. Just keeping up with what I've got. So again, kind of pull the loose grit or loose matter out of there. And we're going to go right for dip and put. So here's a nice, um, nice cutting. I'm going to dip it. I like to get it kind of up the sides. And then I'm just going to push it in. The soil is loose enough that I don't need a dibble to make the hole. If it scrapes a little of the rooting compound off, I, it really doesn't matter. I think I hurt anything. And then when I get done, I will uh, water it in. Last year, when I put it directly in the soil, when it came time for spring, I could see the, the cuttings were were alive, but when I went to pull them out or lift them out, it broke some of those really delicate roots, which is why I want to try to go directly into the, the four inch containers this year. So hopefully this is a better way of doing it um, for future. Again, I'm just That's it.
So I got I got six cuttings, which is great. If we get all six of them to root. That's perfect. Uh, maybe I'll do some more next year as well. So this is like a leftover tray. So like when you go to a nursery center, if you ever buy a whole flat, I know I do. <laughs> then keep these trays. You want to try to keep them because you can reuse them for, for projects like this. I've got a bunch of different four inch containers that I have potted up. I have some lavender, I have some leftover definium that I didn't uh, plant out into the main gardens yet. And I have, I have these cuttings I'm going to put in here. So what I'm going to do is I'll put them in here. I will bury them in the, in the, um, in the actual bed like I'm planting the whole tray and the bed, make sure it's tucked away nice and safe and uh, water it in and then uh, we'll check back in winter. So if this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and um, check back in the spring and let's see how this worked. I'm kind of excited to find out. I like doing experiments. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.